talking about how the constant use of hyperbole will literally change the way we communicate forever. So, <laughs> so let's go back to class quickly. So what is hyperbole? Well, it is the obvious and intentional exaggeration not to be taken literally. And no, it's not pronounced hyperbole. So where can we find it? Well, the weather report is a great place to find hyperbole. Winter storm warning, worst storm in a decade. And everybody goes and they grab all the milk and the bread off the shelves and they hunker down. And then the next day, they wake up and they go, did somebody cancel the weather apocalypse? So as you can see, we're already seeing it all the time. We just may not be aware. So where else can we find it? Advertisements. Advertisements are a great, great place to find hyperbole. <laughs> we would never be compelled to buy anything like this if they didn't punch up that product's attributes. So, <laughs> so what's wrong with a little bit of exaggeration? Absolutely nothing. It makes us laugh. It makes us excited. It makes us want to buy things, right? But what happens when there's a lot of exaggeration. So, I used to teach eighth grade English in Phoenix, and my students were masters at hyperbole. They used it all the time, but they could never define it on a test. <laughs> so, I would hear things all the time, this is the worst day ever, you are the worst teacher ever. Oh my gosh, Miss Wilma, we're gonna go to the mall and it's gonna be epic. <laughs> You're using that word wrong. You're using that word wrong. <sighs> so let's go ahead and talk about social media. So we've all seen it on social media. People are having the worst days ever, the best days ever, the epic fails, winning for the win, right? So it's all the time, and this one is my personal favorite. When LOL doesn't make your friend feel funny enough, try this one. Okay, so. When you see all these things and they're constantly floating around all the time on Twitter, on Facebook, right? The some e-cards, those are my personal favorite. You can make your own. Okay, so anyway, so it's, everybody seems to be having either the best time or the worst times, but there seems to be nothing in between and there must be. So I begin to think to myself is, Everything in life needs to be talked about figuratively or can we get literal? Can we finally start speaking to each other in a more authentic way? Make our communication really count. So don't panic, because I thought you might. Okay, so wipe the sweat off your palms and relax, because I think I can figure this one out for us, okay? So, how about we start using hyperbole the way it was supposed to be used, the way it's intended instead of all the freaking time, right? Yeah, you're with me. Yeah, so all the freaking time, exactly. Because it was never meant to be the main ingredient in our communication. It was always meant to be that something extra, that something spicy to make things more interesting when sometimes it's just mundane. But instead, it's become something that we're constantly speaking figuratively. If we're always doing that, are we ever really making a point? Or is it just words? So I thought, why don't we just add a little bit more of our authentic selves into the way that we communicate with each other? Push aside all that extra, the LOLs and the for the winds, and find those other words to describe what you want to say. They're there. So, <laughs> that one's my favorite, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I want to say that our words have weight, and they really do. We've been given this beautiful, precious, amazing, fantastic, extraordinary gift of language. We have it. We've been set apart as humans. So when you invite people into your world, invite them in with real words and challenge them to invest in you and what you say. So with that said, where are you? This has literally been the best night ever. India for the win! <laughs> Thank you.